A few months ago, I got a portable sauna tent from a company called Furzone. And so I thought that I would make a review video about it in case it's helpful if you're thinking about buying one. I'll show you around the product and talk about the things I like and the things I'm not so keen on. I'd seen this online for some time, but I wasn't sure about it. I mean, it just looks a bit odd, don't you think? But when my trainer and nutritionist, Phil Richards, recommended I get this, I just went for it. This model is the Tourmaline Pro, but there's also some other models which I think are quite similar. I'm guessing if you're thinking about buying one of these, then you already know the benefits of using a sauna. But if you don't, there's loads of videos on YouTube explaining. Let's show you around the product. The first thing to note is that this is an infrared sauna. This means that instead of using hot coals or steam to heat the inside, it uses infrared light, which is safe for the body. In fact, it's extremely beneficial. And this is great because it's cheap to run and there's no ventilation required. The sauna comes in a relatively small box considering it's a sauna and it's easy to set up. Undo the tent, press out the sides, zip it up, put the foam bottom in, snap the frame together, then put the chair in and we're ready to go. The sauna has three carbon infrared panels, one on each side and one on the back. And it has a heated foot pad down here as well. I'll explain more about that and the heat settings in a minute. The tent is 100 centimetres tall, 70 centimetres wide and 80 centimetres deep. It's pretty compact, but still big enough to sit in. And I use mine in a small space in my bedroom. The sauna comes with a fold out chair, kind of like a camping chair. Oh, this is so... <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. Here I am, just chilling on my camping chair. Oh, I love it. It's a bit small, even for me, at five foot six and 64 kilograms. But I can't see a reason why you couldn't use another chair or a stool, as long as it doesn't have metal parts on, which could possibly get hot. Once it's set up, switch it on and give it 10 minutes to heat up. Although that's not necessary because the heat comes out immediately. The temperature goes from 15 to 65, and I'm not entirely sure if that equates to degrees Celsius. I did a test and within 15 minutes, the tent got to 60 degrees Celsius, which is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The timer goes from 15 to 60 minutes in one minute increments, and the sauna tent switches off after the time has elapsed. The foot pad at the bottom has four settings, off, low, mid and high. I like it on low because I don't like getting hot feet. Plus the sauna tent gets really hot. For me, I use the sauna on the highest setting, which is 65, and I use it for between 20 and 60 minutes, and I sweat buckets. Inside this tent is so sweaty. I'm always surprised with how much I sweat. And with the heating of the body comes so many health benefits. And I personally use it for increasing growth hormone, which I've made a video about up here. From what I've read, all of the studies on sauna therapy are done with traditional saunas and they're not done with infrared saunas. And I think that's because infrared saunas don't get as hot and all of the health benefits of sauna therapy comes in the temperature range of between 80 and 100 degrees C and infrared saunas generally don't get that hot. The tent has these funny little zipped armholes, which is great for using the controller and having a drink. I have them shut as much as possible to keep the heat in, but they also act as a nice ventilation if needed. I keep a little stool by the armhole with my water bottle just so I can stay hydrated. I actually got this sauna in the middle of the UK winter and it was so lovely to use in the evenings to warm up and it's great to use before bed to help with sleep. The weather in the UK has been so cold recently and combine that with the high gas prices, we haven't been having the heating on much and I have been freezing. This would be such a wicked way to warm up. Around the neck of the tent is a detachable collar and this absorbs perspiration and you get two with the package, so it's use one and wash one. It's recommended to use two towels when using this, but I use four. It seems a bit excessive, but it saves as much tidying up. I lay one on the floor under the tent, just in case. I put one inside the tent on the floor, one over the chair, 
and then a small towel around my neck. <laughs> oh, these little armholes make me laugh. After having a sauna treatment, it's fairly easy to clean. I just use one of the towels. Then packing it away takes about three minutes. And I worked it out with my little electric meter thingy that this costs about 20 pence an hour to run, which I think is great. There is the option to get the sauna tent with an additional red light spectrum panel, which can be used for aches and pains and all kinds of other health benefits. And I'll be making a separate video on my main channel about the health benefits of red light therapy. So keep an eye out for that. And this little panel is great. It can be hung inside the tent when using the sauna, or it can be used independently. And it's small and compact and powered with a USB wire. So when I go away, I take it with me because it's easy and effective to use for recovery after exercise. The things I like about this portable sauna tent is it can be used at home. It plugs into the wall. There's no steam or ventilation required. It's temperature controlled. It gets really hot and I sweat loads. It's cheap to run and easy to use. It packs away with a small amount of space and it can be taken elsewhere if you want to. It costs about £300 and it makes having a sauna really accessible. And the things that I think could be better are the chair could be a bit wider and more comfortable. It looks a bit funny, but then again, who cares if it's healthy? And the look and feel could be a bit more professional looking, but if it does what it says and it keeps the price affordable. It's a great bit of kit and I really like it. And it seems that from the reviews, other people love it too. I've linked to First Zone's website in the description. And if you've got any questions, then I'll do my best to answer them. So put them in the comments. Maybe if you've got a portable sauna tent yourself, then let me know your experience in the comments as well, because maybe there's some other people interested to read about your experience. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you at the next one.